I usually say every human being should spend five days in his life in different five different places. Have you heard that? How many of you have not heard? Not heard? You all should spend one day in jail <laughs> with all those who have been condemned as criminals. Spend a day with them. Talk to them. Your life will be transformed, I tell you. You will have compassion for them. You know, a guy went and beat up so many people and he went into jail and I asked him, why did you do? And he says, because someone from that community did harm to my sister and so I could not tolerate, I went and beat them up. I said, did you beat the person who abused your sister or anyone from that community? They are all one. The answer. No, somebody else did something wrong for that all, there were 200, 300 cars are burned in Baltimore. Does it make any sense? No. But there was nobody to bring them, sit to them, talk to them, and heal their wounds to transform them. And this is what is essential. You know, you speak to them, you will find out, my God, they are suffering. They have a deep scar, they have wound. And only and only spirituality can heal them. Now, one day in prison will open up your vision, your prejudice will go, your tendency to condemn people will disappear. One day in school, Maybe with children who have uh, special needs. Just spend one day in a school with kids and you have to teach them something. How many times they make mistake. With a challenge, you have to make them repeat a poem, says a boss. And you have to teach them. You know how much patience you need to have? Or just one mathematical sum problem you make them solve. I tell you, primary school teachers are much more evolved than professors of the colleges. <laughs> you know, they need a lot of patience to deal with them. So someone who is impatient, you send them to primary school. <laughs> Last time, I think when I was here, someone asked a question, something like that. I said, drive behind a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> that can bring your patience. You're sitting in a car and you're driving behind a bicycle. Someone is... <laughs> so patience, that can make a big difference. One day in school, one day with, with a farmer in the garden, just be with the mud, sowing seed and watching how that seed sprouts. You need to have patience to see that seed sprouting and, you know, that caring for trees. One day may not be enough. Sometime, like a farmer, like a gardener, when you prune the trees, you are not pruning to uproot the trees, you are pruning so the trees can grow better. So as a gardener, one day in your life you must spend, or some time in your life. One day in a hospital, maybe even hospice. 
Now see, life is so impermanent. Of course, those who are working in hospitals, they become sort of insensitive towards this. I mean, they are used to it. When you are used to something, you no longer learn from it. But when you have never done something for a change, when you go and do something like that, you learn a lot. So, jail, school, farming, hospital, mental hospital. <laughs> Just one day in mental hospital and see what they all speak. Do you take it seriously? Do you take their words seriously? If you, if you take their words seriously, then you are part of the patient there. <laughs> you should be counted one among them. And most of our trouble is we take people's words too seriously. What they say, what they don't. Things are going to happen or even anyway happening from another law, from another level of existence. But we take too seriously what this guy said, what that lady said, what who said, who said what and all those things. And take it to our heart and we boil, we make our mind negative, negative, it gets so thick. And the thick head, I tell you, is a botheration for you. <laughs> Whoever said as something and they went, but those words got into your head and it boiled your head, it made you so hard, insensitive, and you will tend to become unlike them. Then you don't know, when you feel hard in yourself, you don't know how you behave. You are not at all aware of your own reactions, your own perception. Your perception and your expression gets totally messed up or become so gross. This is because of that.